Okay guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make realistic iPhone mockups in Canva. It's super quick and easy um, and this can be really helpful if you're trying to create realistic lifestyle images of how your content looks in mobile view um, or images of an Instagram feed or whatever the case may be. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So you can see here that I've got um, a blank Instagram post that we're going to be using today. And the first thing we want to do is we want to find an image of an iPhone that we want to use kind of as the backdrop for our post. So to do that, we can go over to photos and we can search iPhone um, in the photos tab. And I'm going to apply a free filter onto my search just so I'm pulling up options that anybody can use, whether you have the free version or the pro version of Canva. Obviously, if you have the pro version, you can search any option. Um, you can remove this filter, but... Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the options that pop up. And they're pretty good, but you know what? I think I might have better luck over in Unsplash. So I'm gonna go there. Unsplash, if you haven't heard of it, is a fantastic stock photo website. Um, with thousands of stock photos that are free to use. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm just going to search for iPhone. And it pulls up some really great options, right? So I kind of like this one. I think this one's perfect. Um, you want a photo that is going to basically be a flat lay. So what that means is the iPhone is laying flat. Um, it's not like tilted or anything like some of these others, um, but you want it to be laying flat like this or like this or even like this, right? Um, and you'll see why in a little bit. So I like this image. I'm going to go ahead and download it. And then I'm just going to click it and drag it over to Canva, drop it in my upload. And then I'm going to click and drag so I can use it in my post, okay? So that's step one, finding your iPhone image that you want in the background of your post, okay? So the next step is going to be to find um, a way to add our image to this iPhone, right? So we don't want this Apple News image. We want to put our own, um, our own content in the iPhone to create the mock-up. So to do that, just go to the Elements tab, and you're going to go ahead and search for iPhone in the search bar and apply a free filter. And it'll pull up these two options that you can use. And you'll notice that they have um, kind of a frame within the iPhone, which basically just means that you can drag and drop your image over that frame and it'll automatically crop it to fit within the iPhone. Okay, so I'm going to drag this over to use. All right, and now it's just a matter of lining up this iPhone element so that it covers and kind of matches the iPhone behind it, the iPhone in our image, okay? And it doesn't have to be perfect, but just enough so that, you know, you really can't see the iPhone in the background. All right, so we'll just use our arrow keys to kind of move it around and get it even more precise. And you can use kind of this little toggle down here to swing it around um, and make it fit exactly. Okay, perfect. So now all you have to do is go back to your uploads and make sure that you've uploaded an image of the content that you want to show in the iPhone. And I've got this image here from a client Instagram. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop that into the phone. So there you have it, guys. You have a really great iPhone mock-up that you can now use across your Instagram feed, um, your website, your blog posts, wherever you need to use it. Um, it was really easy to create and you know you can add any image um, that you want to that, that mock-up, okay? So that was it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just go ahead and drop them in the comments.